So in this video, we are going to download Windows 10 in a virtual machine on an M1 Mac. So I am on the UTM website. A UTM is a software which we will be using to host the virtual machine and just like a VMware or VirtualBox on Windows. And so when you go to their website, you will see this download button. Uh, and the Mac App Store button. If you want to download it from the Mac App Store, you can do it. But I'm going to download it from their website. Okay, just click on save and this will download the application. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to press cancel. The next step after downloading it is to go to the gallery. And you can see many Linux distributions here and also windows 10 windows 7 and xp today we are going to install windows 10 so let's click on it and we have already downloaded utm for mac now we are going to click windows for arm over here you can see a microsoft website over here you will have to sign into your microsoft account and then if you haven't already you have to join their insider preview program then only you will be able to see this page and after you have done that you will be able to see this page and this button click on it it will download the vhdx file uh, to your computer it is 9.1 gigabytes in size so i'll cancel it for now i have already downloaded um, then what you have to do is click on the spice guest tools and click on download these are just some drivers for our uh, windows 10 vm i'll just cancel it because i have also i have already downloaded this and next step is to install utm so when you open finder go to documents uh, or wherever you have saved your file i have saved it in uh, documents click on utm.dmg it will open it and move this to applications this to applications but as you can see i have already downloaded it and moved it to applications so i'll just double click on it and our UTM app has been open. Next, the instructions say that create a new virtual machine, but we are going to do something else. Uh, so there's a problem that the drive will get corrupted many times in the virtual machine. So we are going to change it, change our VSDX file to a QCOW2 file. So install homebrew from here if you haven't already from this website. Then what you have to do, you have to open your terminal. I'm going to use item from here. Okay. Now I'll just increase the font size. Okay. Now you are going to click, I mean type brew install q e m u hit enter and wait for it to download and till that time we are going to copy this uh, command which will convert our vhdx file to a qcouto file then we are going to use this qcouto image with utm Okay, I'll just pause the video till it downloads. Okay, so now our QEMU has been downloaded. Now I'll just uh, see my documents folder over here and we can see our Windows 10 Insider Preview VHDX file. So what we are going to do, this command which you copied, uh, just paste it and I'm going to change the path. It is not slash path slash two. So oh, I'll go here and just delete this and type home slash documents slash windows 10 insider preview. Yes. And then change this to home 
slash documents documents slash output slash windows 10 dot to enter okay so there is a error okay it could not create that so i will remove the output over here and press enter so let's just ls documents and we have our qcouto file yes so now let's go back to utm and click on create new virtual machine and i'll name it windows 10 for arm or arm then the icon i'll select operating system and i'll change it to windows logo click on this button it will take some time to load okay now we have it and click on the windows logo yes next thing is to go to system and change our architecture so scroll up and you will find arm 64 click on that and memory if you have a 8 gigabytes if you have 8 gigs of ram then you can give 4 gigs of ram to the virtual machine if you have 16 give 8 so I'll give, I have 16 gigabytes so I'll give 8 gigs of RAM to this virtual machine then next go to drives and click on import drive then go to your folder where you have downloaded I'll click on downloads I mean documents and select the qcarto file which is our main drive and change this to nvme okay now we are going to make our usb drive where the iso will be there the spice guest tools iso click on removable and create okay now we have our drives then that's it for the vm and click on save okay now here we can see our virtual machine now click on cd dvd and click on browse here we will select our spice guest tools iso and click on open okay now we can fire up the vm i'll just move this to a new space and click on start okay so our virtual machine has started and I'll just wait for a moment to let it start okay so our virtual machine has loaded and is this the right country or region no uh, I'm going to select India that's why it will ask yes right here now I'm going to click on yes and then is the right keyboard layout or input method yes I'm going to click us and select yes I don't want to add a second keyboard layout I'm going to click skip okay and you need to connect to a network click on okay click on I don't have internet and then continue with limited setup and read the software agreement software license agreement and click on accept and add a username I'm going to add um, windows vm user okay next create a super memorable password so I'm going to put my super secure password okay click on next and put it again and click on next security questions so what is your first pet's name click next okay so this field is required click on next and second question city where you were born click on next question number three 
childhood nickname okay click on next okay i'm going to uncheck all of these and even this scroll down uncheck this uncheck this okay now click on accept wait for time i have things done i don't want to wait by cortana okay now it is being installed uh, i'll pause the video because this will take some time and i'll be back when it's done okay, so now this has been downloaded now click on this windows logo and click on file explorer we are going to install our drivers uh, which which are coming from the spice guest tools and click on this application and double click on it and click on yes and next i agree and wait till it gets downloaded okay it will just take a second done now we have our drivers now what you can do let's finish this okay so i have moved this to a new space and let's check if we can get our full resolution 1920 into 1080 so go to settings over here and click on system and scroll down and click on 1920 into 1080 and i'm going to keep changes keep changes and i'm going to make it full screen so i'll just command tab to finder and click on the full screen button now we have everything full screen now let's see if we can download chrome on this let's go to microsoft edge i'm going to make it full screen here and type chrome and go to this website and click on download okay here it says was not able to scan uh, click on the three dots and click keep okay now we have chrome setup.exe i'm going to click on open file okay click on run there is some bug in this so click on run and on your marks connecting to the internet downloading okay just a few seconds okay it is being installed now it will just take a moment okay so we have chrome running it works perfectly let's see if it is also connected to the internet let's go to youtube.com okay the internet is a little slow in the vm but it's okay yes yeah, so we have all of this and let's close this now we will shut down the vm and enable file sharing on the vm so shut it down and display output is not active and just wait till it shows a play button yes now let's close the vm over here okay now go to the utm app and click on settings over here and go to this place here sharing and click enable sh uh, directory sharing so now you will able to move files you will be able to move files from the vm and 
to the VM. So click on save and let's start it again. And I'm going full screen. Okay. So now it has uh, started. Press space and enter your super secure password. And we have it over here. But you can see we are not able to see our cursor. So take your cursor up and click on this button here. Capture mouse cursor. Now we will be able to see our mouse cursor in this. Yes. Now we have successfully completed our installation of Windows 10 on a virtual machine using UTM on an M1 Mac. This is an M1 MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. So this, this VM, it will run pretty smoothly. Let's just open Google Chrome and check. Yes, so that is pretty fast. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.